What is up guys and welcome back to the Concrete Edge right here on Deco Creek TV. My name is Jeff and on today's show we're going to be going over some of the basic info that you'll need for selecting the right concrete floor coating for the job. I mean one of the biggest challenges for a concrete uh, floor coating contractor is the wide variety of situations that you're going to find yourself in. I mean, things like metallic epoxy, broadcast floors, one day garage floors, or just a simple grind die seal system. I mean, these could all require different kind of coatings to get the job done. And on some jobs, it might even require multiple different types of coatings on the same floor. So in this video, we're gonna just scratch the surface on a few scenarios that you might encounter and what type of coating could help solve this problem. So stay tuned and you're gonna learn all about it. So why do we need all these options? I mean, why can't we just have one coating that's just gonna serve all our needs? Well, unfortunately, things just aren't quite that easy. I mean, with the popularity of concrete floor coatings has been on the rise for the last decade or so, and man, I gotta tell you, the industry has really responded by continuously developing new technologies to meet the request of installers. I mean, with all these options available, things can get a little bit confusing though, and just keeping track of coatings like epoxy, polyspartic, polyurethane, polyurea, I mean, this can be hard enough on its own. Then you add in that all the different variants of each specific type of coating. I mean, DecoCrete alone offers six different formulations of just polyaspartic. Now, this may seem a little bit overwhelming at first, but once you, get, uh, once you start to understand the characteristics of each coating, things are just gonna make more sense. So we're gonna break this video down into categories so it's easy to follow, and you can always use the timestamps to jump ahead to the part that you're looking for. So first up is high build systems, and man, thickness is really the star of the show on high build floors. I mean, whether the floor just needs some additional leveling or if the situation calls for a really extreme wear layer. Now, first of all, it's important to understand the scope of the term high build in the world of concrete coatings. I mean, for the first five years of my involvement in the decorative concrete industry, I mean, it was pretty exclusive to just stamp concrete. I mean, we measured things with tape measures and a quarter inch was a pretty small measurement. After getting into concrete floor coatings, however, though, I started to realize that uh, thickness of a coating is measured in mils and not inches, and that quarter inch would actually be equal to 250 mils, which is an insanely thick coating. Now, most of the coating systems that I've dealt with over the years are applied anywhere between six to 30 mils per coat, and we would consider anything over 15 mils a high build coating. Now, not all concrete coatings are gonna work to build that thick in one coat. I mean, polyspartic, for example, should never exceed eight mils per coat. So the coating of choice for situations like this is gonna be 100% solid epoxy. I mean, this stuff has been around for a long time, but is still one of the most highly used floor coatings on the market. Now, you are gonna find a wide range of formulations that are gonna flex flowability, and pot life, cure time, and so on, so you're just gonna have to find the one that works best for you. I mean, epoxies are definitely the go-to coating for creating metallic floors because, I mean, you can pile it on nice and thick and all the flow from that epoxy is just gonna give that metallic pigment a one-of-a-kind look. Or if you have a large uh, chip broadcast floor, using epoxy to chip into is gonna give you plenty of time to coat large areas seamlessly. I mean, even solid color floors are always gonna look the best if you can put down a thick coat of epoxy as the base. Now, these floors are all gonna need top coated, however, so just make sure you stay tuned uh, to the top coat part of this video. So next up, we have fast setting systems, and obviously speed is everything with this kind of coating. This is what's gonna allow the installer to complete jobs in a single day, which is gonna save a ton on labor and transportation costs. Now, the number one coating for one day garage floors is gonna be polyaspartic. I mean, this type of coating is gonna be tack free and ready to recode in one to four hours, just depending on the formulation and the temperature. The biggest challenge with these kind of coatings is gonna be getting the coating down and worked out um, all in the right amount of time. I mean, as the cure time of the coating speeds up, the installers are also gonna have to work faster. I mean, we would consider a fast cure coating uh, like our PolyArmor 70 to be a pretty advanced system. And we'd really recommend a slower moving formula like our PolyArmor 90, at least for the first few jobs. But for most contractors, the Poly 90 just seems to be the sweet spot for chip floors. I mean, garage floors that are in that 500 to 1,000 square foot range are just perfect for fast set coatings. On the smaller side of that, you can get the jobs completed all in one day. Jobs on the larger side of that range might require a day of prep work and then one day to apply the coating. 
In our experience, broadcasting some sort of media into the coating is always going to yield the best results. I mean, vinyl paint chips are definitely the most common thing out there, but there are a wide variety of other options available. Now, this is going to consist of a two to maybe even three coat systems, just depending on the solid content of that polyester parting. Now, on to the top coats. So this is the coat that's gonna create the final product and some people refer to this as the money coat. <laughs> I mean, it's not only the coat that's gonna make the job look like a million bucks, but it also means that the job is now done. And it's time to get paid. $100 billion. Now there are a couple things to consider here, like aesthetics, durability, and ease of application. I mean, no matter what kind of coating you use to create that floor, it's all gonna need some sort of top coat applied. I mean, the durability is just obvious here for the reason of this being the final wear layer. I mean, epoxies give you a ton of freedom when it comes to things like high build, flowability, extended uh, working time on the floor. What they're not good at though is abrasion and chemical resistance. Now, generally, polyurethanes and polyexpartics are the best choices for this coat. I mean, they're highly durable to things like chemicals, abrasion, UV rays, and even hot tire lift. Now, which one you should uh, use is going to depend on a few things, and the first would be speed. I mean, if you need this top coat to be ready for use the next day, I mean, polyspartic is really the only option here, because most of those urethanes are going to require at least 48 hours of cure time before full use. Now, the next thing would be ease of application, and this kind of depends on what kind of floor you're top coating. If it was a broadcast floor, I mean, things are going to be pretty easy to manage just due to all that texture that's going to deflect the light, and it's just going to help hide roller marks and other imperfections. Metallic floors or any other kind of glassy surface is going to be a different story, however. I mean, the smoother the surface, the harder it's going to be to hide flaws in that top coat. Now, urethanes by nature do tend to have more flow and working time than polyspartics, and this gives the installer more time to get everything back rolled and looking good, as well as providing some self-leveling properties all on its own. Now, moisture cure urethanes can be a great option for top coats on glassy floors. I mean, these urethanes are single component. That means that it doesn't require any mixing of A and B together. I mean, rock hard urethane, for example, it is single component. It gives you plenty of time to work with it and it flows out to look like glass. And the best thing of all is you can barely even smell the stuff. Which leads us to our last category here, which is low odor systems. I mean, honestly, in the past, low odor kind of meant water-based, and while there are some really great uses for water-based coatings, you're going to lose a ton of freedom if you have to use WB products exclusively. Now, fortunately, things have come a long way in the past couple years, and there are now a variety of solvent-based options that still give you that look and performance that you're used to, just without all those harsh odors. Now, this can be crucial for jobs that have low odor requirements, but beyond that, low odor products are just a great way to make your job sites more friendly to employees and the end users. I am truly personally amazed at the performance of some of the low odor polyspartics and urethanes that have been developed in the last five or six years. And we already went over the rock hard urethane, but the other game changing uh, coating that DecoCrete launched about five years ago is our Poly Armor 90 system. It's still fast enough to do one day floors, but it's just a lot less stressful than an actual true fast cure polyspartic. And the low odor is just going to be like a breath of fresh air if you're used to using high, high odor polyspartics. Well guys, that's pretty much it for today's show. Now, hopefully this video was helpful in your quest to create the highest end decorative concrete possible. Now, there is certainly a lot more to this topic and to say that we're just scratching the surface here would be a huge understatement. So the best advice that we can give is just to never stop learning. I mean, as the technology continues to progress in this industry, it's just really important that the installers keep up with the changes. I mean, just because something wasn't possible five years ago doesn't mean it can't be done today. So thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this video. I mean, man, I just can't say how much we appreciate all the support that you guys show to the channel by tuning in every week, always hitting those little like and subscribe buttons, sharing it on social media. I mean, we appreciate that a ton. Please leave us a comment if we missed anything or if you have any questions about using the right coating for the job. Now, if you guys are already subscribed, uh, don't forget about that little bell icon there so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And honestly, it really does help our channel out. So from all of us here at DecoCrete TV, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.